Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology. This video is going to demonstrate how to do a bank transfer in Sage 100. We're looking at version 2018 subscription and I've gone into the general ledger module, I've gone to transaction journal entry, and I've launched it. And I'm going to begin by creating a new source journal. I'm just going to call it uh, B2, mainly standing for bank transfer. You can call it whatever you want. It's going to pop up, a, is this a new source journal? And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this bank transfer from checking to payroll. Once I give it an entry number, I have the format button lights up. So let's come in here and see what it is that we want to do. Our offset account is going to be our checking account. It's going to be a credit because I'm going to be funding my payroll account from my checking account. I'm going to change the transaction type to bank transfer. And now I need to define the bank codes that are involved. I happen to know that this bank account here belongs to bank account number uh, or bank code A, and I'm going to be transferring to my payroll account, which is bank code B. You can see everything's set up now. This is going to be saved so that the next time I want to do a bank transfer from checking to payroll, it's going to already be set up, provided I use source journal B2. I'm going to give it a transfer number. I'm just going to use today's date and come to lines. And now it's telling me bank, um, uh, bank code B is where this money is going to. And I'm just going to uh, give it a doc reference of payroll. You can do whatever you want here. And I'm going to be transferring $5,000. Let's click accept and then let's run the register. Here's the journal that we just did, our $5,000 coming from bank code A to bank code B, and let's update this. If I come into my checking account, come over to transactions, here is the $5,000 that has come out of this account. If I go to my payroll account, you could see here is my $5,000 coming into this account. Now let's hop over to the bank reconciliation module. If we bring up bank code A, come over to deposits, you'll see, on, unfortunately it's on the deposit tab, but it's uh, indicated here as a withdrawal, and you could see the $5,000. If I come over to bank code B, we're going to see the deposit with the reference that we had given it of payroll, and here's my $5,000. Pretty easy once you know where to set it up, isn't it? Hope you'll give it a try. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be notified each time we have a new posting. Thanks for watching.